What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2022 video. So the other day I was um, about to go to the gym and then uh, I actually got uh, a DM from a buddy and you know, he was like, hey, hop on, hop on my stream, help me team build. And you know, he was trying to team build a Lapras and I was like, hey, uh, I, I, I kind of want to use a Lapras. I know we used a Lapras in the last showdown live, but that team was like explicitly bad. However, this time I think we built something somewhat usable. It's like a dual weather Lapras, but yeah. Before we get into that, do me a favor, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily VGC content, and answer my comment question of the day, uh, which GMAX do you think we gave up on too quickly in VGC 2020 to 2022? Like, which one do you think could have been developed but never actually was given, like, the effort? But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So, uh, this team has a G-Max Lapras with a Life Orb. Uh, we're running 252 HP, 36 defense. I forget what that's for. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was just like dumped and then we put like four into like special defense and speed. Uh, and the 212 special attack with the Life Orb will actually allow us to one shot faster Zacian, like non bulky Zacian, just like four HP or four special defense. Uh, if the rain is up and we go for a Max Geyser. Uh, we also have Icy Wind for some speed control and Sing because it's the best move in the game. 55% accuracy. It's even better than Hypnosis, trust me. Uh, we have Lunala with a Power Herb. It's just like a bulky set. Uh, Moongeist Beam, Meteor Beam, Trick Room Protect, standard stuff. Uh, we have Groudon with the White Herb, Firestress Blades, Swords Dance, Rock Slide Protect. We have a Charty Berry, G Max Charizard, Blast Burn Protect, Hurricane Solar Beam. Uh, Safety Goggles Thunderous with T-Bolt, Thunder Wave, Eerie Impulse, Rain Dance. Uh, and we actually have a Light Clay Grim Snarl. Uh, I don't know if I want to switch the Safety Goggles to... Uh, I don't know. I, I kind of want to switch the safety goggles to a citrus berry because it does allow me to tank like an extra behemoth blade from Zacian instead of getting to it KO'd. Uh, but eh, I don't know. Anyways, I've played a couple of games of this team. It's pretty okay. I forget what this account's on. It's probably like, yeah, it's like mid 14 or lower 1400s. Let's just grab some games today. It's gonna be more of a chill video. Uh, I'm working on my Giganta Quest series, which is something that's gonna be coming out on Monday. And I am going to be recording with uh, Colin and Colin Hire and uh, James Beck tonight. So yeah, mostly just like, I think that's gonna be like the main focus of the channel for a while, uh, but we're gonna have like just random showdown lives thrown in between whenever I have a fun team idea. Here, um, I actually quite like Thunderous. I actually really like like Thunderous Lapras. My only concern is if, um, it's like Prankster Thunderous, which on this team, I feel like it might be Prankster Thunderous. I, I don't know. It, it could also just be Defiant. Let's go ahead and just go Thundy Lap. It's actually a pretty, um, that, that's, that's like a pretty flexible lead. Uh, let's go ahead and also bring the Dawn. I don't think that's terrible. And we'll bring Lunala. Okay, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I can one-shot this Venusaur, but I should always be able to Rain Dance here. Uh, and I probably won't outspeed the Venusaur is the issue. But it's probably in my best interest to just go for the uh, KO on the Groudon. Is there actually going to Dynamax? I might be going to sleep here, which could be really annoying. Okay, he goes for the Goggles. That's actually great. We're going to tank that easily, and now he's not going to be able to put anything on my side of the field to sleep. Uh, and we actually do a lot of damage there, so that's really nice. Uh, another Max Lightning would be able to KO me, so I think here I actually just want to go ahead and go for like a Thunder Wave onto the Venusaur, uh, and we'll Max Guard right now. I miss, that kind of sucks. Oh, he's forgetting something very important. You literally can't put me to sleep right now. Okay, I guess we'll take advantage of that, of that uh, little oversight on my opponent's side, uh, and we'll go for the Trick Room here. And I'm going to go for my max resonance onto you. So hopefully my opponent will just straight up forget again. Come on, buddy. Go for the sleep powder. You know you want to. Okay, cool. He forgot. That doesn't KO me. I'm going to be able to KO him. And I should go down here with my guy because of the sand. But it's not the worst thing ever because I am White Herb Groudon. Let's go ahead and we still have a lot of protection here. I should just be able to go for like a Meteor Beam into Venusaur as well as a Rock Slide and that'll do it. 
Actually, I should probably just P-Blades. Yeah, I'll P-Blades. Uh, Thunderous isn't terribly scary, since we have the Veil up. And we're also White Herb, so... Alright. That's pretty good. That should follow up into a Meteor Beam KO as long as I don't miss another move here. Okay. Alright. Yeah, no, everything's... Everything's going great, and it's Frenzy Plant. Okay, uh, let's hope that the Moon Guys Beam one-shots it doesn't. Okay, that this has been a little bit of an annoying match, I won't lie. <laughs> I missed my Thunder Wave, and then I missed, like, my KO on the Venusaur. He does put me to sleep. It, I mean, yeah, there's the Cali. All right, GG. That was kind of an annoying way to open up this, this video. <laughs> Okay, uh, this is interesting. Uh, it's a Kali Shadow Rider team, which, or Shadow Rider, Ice Rider team, uh, with, uh, what's that thing called again? Alchemy, which is honestly a Pokemon that we have seen with Calyrex Shadow Rider quite a bit, but we usually see it with like Palkia. Uh, so seeing the Kyogre here is interesting. It seems to just want to be like a hard trick room team. There doesn't seem to be much speed control except for possible string shot on these two Pokemon. As for their answers to Lapras, they're few and far between. Obviously, Rillaboom is technically one of them, but I could just go with like a very flexible Lapras Charizard Groudon lead. Uh, and in the back, I definitely want my Lunala here. Okay, yeah. Uh, we're not safety goggles. So what I could do here... Do I want to go for the, the max fire move? Or do I want to lean into my my Lapras. I think I want to lean into my Lapras more. Let's go ahead and... Um, I'm going to go for the KO on you. And I should be able to get in Lunala here. I don't think they're going to attack. They want a Trick Room. And Rage Powder. doesn't quite one shot which isn't great however it's not really the end of the world there's the hailstorm uh that will end up KOing his own pokemon funny enough uh, and i don't have my resonance off yet which isn't great however i should be able to take any one hit from the rillaboom right now especially a glide i can definitely take a glide and they didn't go for trick room so like end game charizard looks pretty nice uh let's go ahead and just go for the ko on you i may actually just protect here to stall out a turn dynamax Grassy Glide, I can eat that up. He critical hits me, which isn't great. I would have actually taken that a lot better. I now have this up, which is great. Uh, he goes for the Spit F drop. I am Water Absorbed though, uh, so it's likely he won't have a move to hit me for very much. Uh, let's go ahead and pretty much just like hand this over, honestly. I'll just go for the Moon Guys Beam into Max Geyser. If he goes for a Water Spout, I'm gonna heal on my Lapras, which is perfectly fine. We're gonna get some good damage here as well. Well, you know, good for Lapras. Lapras isn't exactly the uh, the best offensive Pokemon. <laughs> uh, and we'll go ahead and we'll go... Do I want to go into the Dawn here? I think I want to go... It depends if it's like Scarf, right? I'm going to go for the good move. The best move in the game, in fact. Why not? <laughs> Yeah, it's Scarf, so I'm going to get some health back. That's fine by me. We wall out the Kyogre indefinitely, and we miss the Cal... Or I better land this thing now. Thank you. All right. I was going to say, if I miss another move that like matters for winning, I'm going to be real upset. All right. Let's just KO you. Um, I don't need to get in my Zard yet. Lapras is just getting harder and harder for the Calyrex to break. All right. And he didn't go for Trick Room ever, so we're fine. Nice. Okay. I mean, that could have been another very frustrating match, <laughs> considering the endgame, but like, we're good. We're good. Okay, I don't know why. We're like facing some strange stuff today, and it's not like we're terribly low on the ladder. Uh, Pikachu could be very annoying. I won't lie, this is a team I could very easily lose against, because uh, I don't have much of an answer for Pikachu. Eerie Impulse would usually be what I want to go for here. Dude, this is actually like a hard match for this for this team. I definitely need a lead off Zard, but that Sableye could give me a lot of issues in that in that respect. Um, yeah, I have to go Zard, because if they don't lead off like Pika plus uh, plus Sableye, I should always one-shot Pikachu. 
let's go with this. Uh, duh, 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 duh. I think once again, just like the hybrid lead is fine, but also like fake out Grim could be good. I might leave the Lapras at home this game. Let's leave the Lapras at home. All right. Uh, they end up going for a Blastoise lead, which uh, not terrible. It's probably Rain Dance Sableye is the issue. So I think here my play is actually going to be to Max Guard and Spirit Break. Actually, uh, yeah, I'm going to Spirit Break this thing immediately. Also, my sprite isn't loading. He's shell smashing, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go ahead and just go for the... Let's go for the wildfire into you and we'll get on the Groudon. Let's see if he goes for it again. He doesn't go for it again. That's actually really nice. I should tank whatever from this thing. Because we're in the sun. I'm going to get some residual damage. Now that speed is quite annoying, I won't lie. Especially since I don't really have an option for it. <laughs> However, Sableye will go down in a turn. Yeah, sends out the Sableye. I'm going to get my Groudon off the field and switch it out for um, the boy. Let's go ahead and try to Overgrowth. I'll get in Grim Snarl. Alright, that's fine. Overgrowth's going to do a decent amount. He's going to take some Residual as well. Alright, that was also like just a very solid amount of damage. Get in the Dawn, get in the Lunala. And as long as they didn't bring like Eveltal, if they ended up going like Solgaleo, I think I win. That's Eveltal. Okay. Um, it's not impossible to win this. I need to go for Trick Room here, and I need to be able to tank a hit. So they would have to like target the Grout on here. Which they do. I think I I think I can win this now. As long as I don't flinch. Thank you. Taking a bit of cannonade, but I do get some recovery here. Uh, and it's gonna be my play to go for this. Ooh. I don't think Rock Slide KOs. Yeah, I don't think Rockside KOs. They do still have a turn of Cannonade, or they do have a they still have a, they still have a turn of Rock of uh, Wildfire. So I think I do just have to go for this. Okay, this is gonna be a, a rough end game. I need to flinch, but I think I only need one flinch. They could have Sucker Bunch though, obviously. Nope, I missed the Blastoise. That kind of sucks. Okay, GG. Also, Dragon Pulse Blastoise. It's, oh, dude, I would have won if I had I actually hit that Blastoise. The Veltal flinched. That's so annoying, dude. <laughs> Why is it? I don't know. Today's like not my lucky day, to be honest. Let's see if we can just like ignore that and move on. Also, this is a team that won uh, Japan. Not won, but like did well in Japan uh, Nationals. I actually very much like the Lapras in this game. Obviously, the Urshifu could be a little bit annoying, but um, beyond that, like the Lapras is a very, very good lead. Yeah, I go Lapras Thunderous here. Uh, Eerie Impulse is going to be my best friend. Lunala doesn't seem half bad, but I definitely think that Groudon is going to be a must. Uh, iffy on the Lunala, honestly. Grimmsnarl, Lunala. Yeah, let's go Lunala. Okay. Now, I forget what the Eternus' spread is. I truly have forgotten the Eternus spread. Let's just go for the Resonance. Yeah, I'll Resonance. Uh, I'll go for a Eerie Impulse in case it's like a super offensive Eternus. And this should do a decent amount. I'm going to say like 40%. Foul play. All right. That's nice. I actually one shot. Cool. Luck is back on my side. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We, we got lucky. <laughs> uh, yeah, now I'm not like super concerned with the Eternus' damage output considering my options for it in the endgame with this uh, stuff up. So I'm going to go for a Rain Dance into Max Geyser so I can try to two-shot this Umbreon as it is faster than my Lapras, which isn't going to be great. Do a decent amount. I think I have to focus it down. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think my, my actual only option is to focus it down this turn. If it goes for another Snarl, it may live a hit. Yep. Get the para. Okay, that's actually pretty huge. Nice. Cool. This is officially my game. This is officially my game to lose. Let's go for the Icy Wind so my Dawn and Lunala both outspeed. Uh, and I'll be eerie impulsing you to make sure you can't do anything too annoying. Sludge Bomb won't be able to KO. Brick Break. That actually did a lot. Alright. Uh, that should be a win. Like, both of my Mons outspeed. Unless he, like, airstreams. So, it's in my best interest to... Just go for the wave. Alright, missed my wave, but we're good. Because we still have a Groudon. Who can... I think we literally just, like, double rock move. Or they shouldn't be able to one-shot Lunala in, like, any circumstance. So I think I just go for my, um... My Moongeist Beam and my P-Blades. I could also Trick Room. Trick Room doesn't seem like a bad idea. Because that, like, makes it easier to win. Uh, I'll P-Blades Trick Room. There's no need to protect. Eternatus has like no damage output. He would have to crit me. Yep. And the White Herb's gonna save me here. Guaranteed got off my Trick Room. Nice. Alright, GG. There's no need to uh, Power Herb here. Nice. Okay. Not terrible. So what are we right now? We're like 2-2? Two and two? See if we can go like two and four. If I could win two more, I'll be happy with this team. Okay, uh, this is another interesting one. We're getting paired with like some lower uh, rank players right now for some reason. Uh, to be fair, I mean like fourteen hundred isn't that high either. But this is like a this is a composition you like never see. But it is like straight up hyper offense. One would assume with like a team this hyper offensive, it's going to be like Imprison, Trick Room, and Didi. So that is something to keep in mind. Uh, do I want to lead off Lapras this game? That's kind of a rough question to answer here because there is quite a bit that could be very annoying. I'm thinking Groudon is a bad lead. Charizard's a bad lead in like any situation. Lunala might actually be like not a bad lead. Uh, do they have anything to break Lunala if I go like Lunala Grimmsnarl? I don't want to Dynamax Lunala is like the issue. Yeah, that's like, that's what I really just don't want to do this game. Uh, let's go ahead and bring the Charizard in the back. Nah, Charizard just like gets annihilated by half this team. Alright, I suppose I can lead off like Lunala Grimmsnarl. And if they end up leading off with Ndidi, I just don't go for Trick Room. Is that my plan? I think so. And like Lapras Groudon. Alright, yeah. Uh, no Ndidi, however, it's probably going to be Dynamax Regieleki here, which I can definitely eat a hit from, so I will get my Trick Room off. Nice. Electroweb. Awesome. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go for the... Do I just Meteor Beam here? I think I just like Meteor Beam Regieleki. And go for a light screen. Or I could Spirit Break Kyogre. That might be a little bit more effective. I'm trying to think. Actually, yeah, I want the KO. Light screen's probably just smarter. See how much this does. Probably going to do like 60. Yeah. Origin Pulse misses the Grim Snarl. That's super nice. They go for the Max Lightning. That's going to hurt quite a bit. Looks like they might be a little bit of a mix set. Um, here, though, I'm not really concerned. I don't even have to target down the Regieleki here because I'm going to lose something regardless. I think my play is just going to be to Moongeist Beam. And we're going to be able to win with like Groudon in the back if we get rid of Kyogre here. Yep, they Max Guard. This should do a ton. And then Groudon comes in for whatever gets KO'd. Or nothing. Nothing could also get KO'd. That is also a thing that could happen. Yeah, I mean, if I can get it down to, like, just Regieleki, I win with Groudon. So we're going to focus down this Thunderous. 
Because Thunderous doesn't tend to run Protect. I would assume it's AV on this team. Defiant? Yep, there it is. But you're going to go down now. Nice. Get in the Groudon, and I don't see how they get out of this. Yeah, sweet. Uh, Regilecki did it protect last turn. It did not. It went for Max Lightning. Uh, I should just be able to have two turns of Trick Room. I always just focus down you. There's not really a need to not, you know, go for that. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I focus down the Zacian, and then I can't lose. Rising Voltage, KO's my guy, and we're good. Cool. Let's go for the Freeze Dry. Max Quake, GG. Nice. All right. Ooh, okay. Uh, Rinya Sun esque. However, I believe Rinya Sun doesn't actually have Venusaur. It has Thundee. I always forget. Let's see if we can take on Thailand Gaming. So here. I actually really like the Lapras Thundee lead. In the back, Lunala can be very useful. The double dark type is a little bit concerning, but I think Lunala is like supremely good in this match. Uh, we'll bring our own Groudon. Yeah, so I honestly, I should have explained this at the beginning. Um, my whole idea with this team was I wanted to use Lapras, and I couldn't think of a way that like Lapras could work except without a ground type restricted, which obviously my options are Zygarde or Groudon, <laughs> and you can effectively use like this Lapras set is a more offensive alternative to Gastrodon. Obviously, like Lapras isn't going to directly protect anything uh, with Storm Drain, uh, but it is a water immune Pokemon that can take on Kyogre pretty effectively and it has a sleep move. All right, Zard Grimmsnarl. I could not ask for a better lead. I am going to annihilate that thing, and also I'm going to let my dog into my room, so you guys are going to hear my footsteps. <laughs> You're going to be like, where'd Marcos go? Oh, you are just giving me this. Light screen. Stinky. I don't care. That's too much damage. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what you do now. I don't know if it would live that. It's super effective. And we have a life orb. There's the Zacian crown. Um, as previously stated, I know for a fact we can take on Zacian crown without a light screen. However, I think here my play is literally just going to be to go for the Thunder Wave, and then I win with like Groudon regardless. I could also ignore this thing for now. And Resonance the Grim Snarl for the end game. What's Resonance? And Thunder Wave. Yeah, my dog is like super old now, so if he's not in the same room as me, he gets very sad. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and just go for the geyser onto you. I can ignore the Zacian for another turn or two. Uh, and we'll, we'll not ignore it, but I don't have to, like, prioritize it. I just don't want to have to deal with Grimmsnarl. And it's not like it's, like, Brick Break Zacian. Alright. Full para? That's fine. We eat that. I KO you now. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, I'm going to get my Lunala in because I have the opportunity to go for a very nasty combo here called... Um, do I even want to, like, Trick Room? I don't know if I want a Trick Room. I think I just, like, Meteor Beam and Thunderbolt and I win because I definitely have to target the Charizard. Thunder Wave's another option. Charizard doesn't have a lot of ways. Like, I'm going to take, like, not much damage from Zard this turn is the reason I'm, like, contemplating just not doing much. He could also force my Groudon in, is my concern. I think my play here is actually to Trick Room, assuming he's going to force my Groudon in, and then I go for Rock Slide in my move. Uh, but we'll go for the Eerie Impulse just in case. Alright, yeah, that's fine. Hurricane. He's trying to force in the Dawn. I get my Trick Room off. We're going to Meteor Beam, Thunderbolt. Obviously, the Zacian's now faster, but it shouldn't matter if I can get rid of this thing. Yeah. And it's not like it's like a super threatening Pokemon right now, anyways. 
I'm surprised he didn't just Dynamax. Alright, no crit. Awesome. This should one-shot. Nice. That is going to be a fat W for me. Let's go for the Moonguys Beam Thunderbolt. And Groudon just comes in and, and wins in the end. Cool. Moonguys Beam Thunderbolt. I actually go for a Protect here and a T-Bolt because he should. I, I want to be faster than him. I don't want to have to like eat a hit. Yeah, nice. Press his blades, Thunderbolt. GG. Also, be right back. I'm not editing this part out. I'm a bad YouTuber. You guys are going to listen to me let my dog into my room. See you in a minute. Doggy mode has been activated on the video. Let's get one more game. This one with the dog support. Okay. Um, yo, they hate Lapras. Look at their Lapras answers. It's it's just Tapu Coco. Like, exclusively. So I'm going to lead off Lapras. And uh, do I want, like, just Screens Lapras? Screens Lapras doesn't seem that bad. I can just go like that. Um... We'll bring Lunala as well. Lunala is very good. And might as well... Is the Dawn good? I think the Dawn's good. Lando T. Palkia. Honestly, a phenomenal lead by me. But who would expect anything else? Let's go for the max resonance into you. You have no switch-ins to this. And I could go for a Reflect, but you shouldn't Dynamax your Lando under any circumstances. However, I'm still scared of that. And I invite you to get your Trick Room off. I truly do. Are you Max Lightning Palkia? Cali Ice? That's fine. He goes for the Quake. Uh, I got... I have like so many layers of defenses right now that I don't quite mind that. Uh, my Spirit Break will not go before this Palkia. However, I can get like every layer of protection off in the world. And they still don't have like a Max Geyser switch in. Calyrex doesn't like it either. I basically am going to have double layer. I'm going to have every screen in the game up at once. This is going to be really funny actually. Alright, decent. You're going to Trick Room. It actually just goes for the Lance. That's fine by me. Uh, that's going to allow me to get in my Lunala. And threaten a KO on Calyrex. We're going to go for Max Geyser into Meteor Beam. Because I actually don't think that Incineroar is too much of an issue this game. And Meteor Beam should do more. That's fine. Uh, I did still get my Meteor Beam boost. So The question is who's going to go for the Trick Room? And if I care. I don't think I do. I'm going to Freeze Dry and I'm going to go for Moon Geist Beam. Actually, maybe I double you. Calyrex is more scary than anything here. Check this out. Like, I don't care about Palkia. Moongeist Beam. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Thank you. <laughs> I would have been real upset if that actually missed. I'm going to be honest. I would be real upset if that missed. Lando T. Let's go ahead and freeze dry Lando T and protect. He's going to go for the EQ. Telepathy is going to block that. Spatial rend. Ooh. Oh, crap. I might lose this. I might actually lose this, to be honest. I can go for the B blades. Uh, I don't think I want trick room here. That spatial rend did more than I'm comfortable with. Maybe I just rock slide the Moonguys Beam and hope that I can take a Spatial Rend. Or maybe that they'll miss. Miss? Okay, they went for that. That's fine. It still did more than I'm comfortable with. <laughs> rock slide. Why is it doing so much, man? Why is it doing so much? Let's go for the Protect here. 
If I, I think I literally just have to like, wait, did I lose my, my screen last turn? No, I'm fine. All right, I just land, I have to, I just have to land a P blades, really. Behold. Bum, bada bum, 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 All right, nice, cool. That was scary. That actually really scared me. I didn't think I was gonna win that at the end when I saw the, the spatial rend actually KO my Lapras behind all those screens. But yeah, I guess that makes sense. My Lapras isn't like the bulkiest Lapras. It's max HP with like little to no special defense. But yeah, uh, this was been, this was been, this has been like a pretty decent showdown live, I think. Obviously at the beginning I was getting a little annoyed with the bad luck I was having, but uh, we turned it around. I believe we went five and two. I'm not sure I wasn't counting. Maybe four and two. We only lost two games, I think. But yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe. Definitely uh, check out my Discord. I actually am going to be updating my Discord today and dropping all the teams I've made recently because there are a lot of teams I haven't put in there. Uh, but yeah. Leave a like, subscribe, check out the Discord, do whatever. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.